Hey guys, Michael Marchand, your Ziggo Licensed Coach, back with you again. Happy Friday. A little bit more somber, but this particular invasion into Ukraine actually hits very close to home for me because you may not know, but I actually have a sister. Uh, my younger sister is actually 38 weeks pregnant with their first child and is currently living in Ukraine. They were actually forced to flee her and her husband uh, because of the Russian invasion. Um, so there are currently refugees in another European country, but that just kind of made me pause and think, um, and do I truly have an attitude of gratitude? Because we have so much to be thankful for, um, so much to be thankful for in this country right now that it does not often get hyped or does not often get pressed how much good is actually happening, but it is definitely there if you will just take a second to stop and look for it. So without further ado, what are we going to cover? Why should I practice gratitude? Now, that may seem like a silly question, but we're going to go ahead and answer it because I know for a fact there's going to be some skeptics out there that think um, gratitude is just an overrated and does not actually do anything for you. And then intrinsic versus extrinsic gratitude. What's the difference? And um, what should I do with each of those? And then fake it till you make it. Now, we all have bad days. Maybe you're not a naturally happy or positive person. That is okay. The good news is that there is scientific evidence that you can fake it till you make it. So why should I practice gratitude? The very simple answer is that gratitude leads to a happier life. Now there's an actual physiological response in your brain. So you go searching for, you start thinking of things that you're grateful for, and that triggers your brain to reduce stress and increase feelings of pleasure. And then intrinsic versus extrinsic gratitude. So I like to think of that as don't think it, say it. Now, how often do you think about something, the intrinsic side? So you're internally, you're grateful for, you're kind of voicing it to yourself, but you never actually express it to anybody else. How often have you appreciated something that somebody done has done for you? but you never took the time to stop and actually send them a text message, give them a call, write them a handwritten note, something to express that gratitude. That would be the extrinsic gratitude. So I would encourage you to make a habit of that because you never know um, what that person's going through at that moment in time or how your words could impact them. Now, the perfect example is I was in a conference um, a couple weeks back and they challenged us just to think of somebody that you're truly grateful for, that you appreciate and love, but that you have not expressed that to in a while. So the people that came to mind for me was my two younger brothers. All three of us are grown and doing our own thing, so we don't necessarily see each other a lot. But I do truly appreciate them, and there's a lot that I admire about each of them. So what I did, I just took a second, wrote up a simple text, and just told them how much I appreciated each of them individually, and just said that I love you. The simple act of sending that message, I got a response from my youngest brother that that was exactly what he needed in that particular moment. He was having a really bad day. Some really bad things happened that were out of his control. And he was just kind of down in the dumps. And he said that that was exactly what he needed at that particular moment. Now, that completely turned his day around. And that made me feel so good about myself because I had taken a second to express this and look at the return I got. So it was a win-win for both of us. And that's a really, really cool thing about gratitude is it can be contagious. So again, don't just think it, say it. Next time you find something that you appreciate about somebody, go ahead and tell it to that person. And then fake it till you make it. Now there's gonna be times when you're just not feeling it, you're not grateful and that's okay. Now the reality is that the simple act of just smiling. Okay, did I get you, did I make you smile? <laughs> I thought this is a pretty funny one. But anyway, just that, simple act of smiling actually tricks your body and your brain into thinking you're happier than you are. So if you do nothing but look in the mirror or look at a funny picture that makes you smile, then that in and of itself will have a actual impact on your overall happiness and health. So maybe you're not a cat person. Here's a dog one for you because I don't want you to feel left out. And then, of course, my personal favorite, the classic baby picture, uh, gets me every time. That doesn't make you smile, and I don't know what will. But I digress, and that's my whole point, guys, is that find something like this that makes you smile and just keep it handy. When you're feeling down, you're feeling glum, go look in the mirror and pull up that picture. Or think about that funny memory that makes you smile and see if it doesn't turn your day around and at least 
give you a moment's more peace than you would have had otherwise. So my thoughts and my prayers continue to go out to Ukraine, the people of Ukraine. It is a horrible situation that they're in. And um, I do pray for a swift end to it and that uh, Russia will ultimately just stop the advance and go back home because a ton of carnage that is going to take years to clean up. So I appreciate you guys being here. Go do something great with your life. Tell those people that you care about how much you truly do appreciate them because you don't know if you're going to get another opportunity and you don't know how much it can mean and the impact that it could have on them um, at that moment. So I would encourage you guys to just think about that. And if nothing else, just send a couple text messages to people that you haven't spoken to recently that you truly do appreciate and that you are grateful to have in your life. Let them know that. Tell them you love them. And and let's start the love train. All right, guys, that's all I got. Hope you had a great week so far. Let's make it a great weekend. Um, if you have not, go ahead and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I've got more videos coming out and would love to have you guys on board for those.